Hello everyone. I have some exciting news to share. The Kling AI video generator, which was previously available only in China and required a Chinese phone number, has just been released internationally and is now free for everyone. With this tool, you can create high-quality videos with smooth movements and animations using just a text prompt or image. To get started, visit klingai.com. You'll need to create an account using your email address and a password. Next, solve the puzzle by moving the piece into the correct position using the double arrows button. Once you've completed the puzzle, check your email for the verification code and enter it in the designated box. Currently, you receive 66 free credits daily, which reset every 24 hours. While there are no paid subscriptions available yet, they are expected to be introduced soon. With these credits, you can create images and videos, and a video editing tool is also on the way. Before diving in, let's explore the gallery to see some creations. By clicking on an item, you can view the prompt and settings used to generate it. You can also download any images or videos. Now, let's create some videos. Similar to other tools, videos can be made using a combination of a text prompt and an image reference. I'll start by entering a prompt. You can adjust settings to control the output. The creativity setting influences how closely the generator adheres to the prompt, with lower values giving it more creative freedom. You can choose between high performance and high quality modes, although high quality is not available yet. Currently, videos can only be 5 seconds long, but there's hope that this will soon be extended to 10 seconds. You can also choose from three aspect ratios. Camera movement can be adjusted, but this option is only available for text-to-video, not image-to-video. You can increase or decrease the movement in any direction. There's also a negative prompt option, which allows you to specify elements you don't want in the video. Now let's generate the video. It will cost 10 credits, so with 66 credits per day, you can create up to 6 videos daily, or 180 videos per month for free, which is quite generous. The generation process usually takes around five minutes. While we're waiting, let's create another video, this time using an image to video approach. I'll use an image of a cute baby bird I created in mid journey and have it do a little chicken dance. Please note that entering a prompt is optional when using the image to video tool. I'll adjust the creativity value for this one. The first video is done. Let's take a look. Unfortunately, it's not very good. There are two basketball hoops and the basketball is on the wrong side of the player's hand. However, it did capture the guy jumping in the air trying to slam dunk, and the audience in the background looks decent. Overall, I'd say this video isn't a success. Now, let's check out the chicken dance video. This one is better. Even though it's not doing much dancing, the overall quality is good and I like the animation of the light streaks in the background. Next, I'm curious to see how a video of school-age kids jumping in the air turns out. While waiting, I'll create another video of a beautiful woman drinking coffee at an outdoor cafe. Let's change the camera movement to pan and keep the default value. Here's the result of the kids jumping in the air and I think it's really good. Even their hair moves realistically, just as you'd expect if someone jumps. The girl's animation is almost perfect with her arm movement, but her fingers and hands morph at the end. The other kids are also moving upwards, but their body movement isn't as convincing, possibly due to their poses in the image. The video of the woman drinking coffee is less impressive. She's holding a coffee cup and sitting at an outdoor cafe, but her eyes look strange, and a car in the background morphs awkwardly. I have an image of Abraham Lincoln and wondered if I could make him dance. While he did twirl, it wasn't exactly dancing and he also morphed into someone else. Without the morphing, the video might have been okay. For another video, I requested a sophisticated dog eating a hamburger and drinking a Coke. The overall quality is good, but 
The dog isn't actually eating or drinking. It seems to try to drink but fails and the drink has a strange animation, almost like the dog is controlling it with its mind. I think a prompt like this would work better with a reference image of a dog holding a hamburger, so I created an image in mid-journey and will use that as a reference. This is better, even though the dog isn't actually eating the hamburger or drinking, it is at least moving the food towards its mouth and moving its mouth as if trying to eat. Now let's see if using a reference image can improve the previous videos that didn't turn out so well. I really like this one even though a straw was added to the coffee. And it seems as if it is going through the glass. The character is drinking the coffee through the straw. This one was tougher. I couldn't get the player to actually dunk the basketball, even with a reference image, adjusting the creativity value and adding negative prompts. Even though it's not that good, it was the best one generated. The other attempts were much worse. For instance, for this one, I increased the creativity value, resulting in almost no movement. Another attempt, using default settings and no negative prompt, also didn't turn out well. I have an image of a first-person shooter zombie game art concept, and I'm eager to see how the video turns out. I'll skip the prompt this time and see what Kling produces. There was a lot of morphing, especially with the zombies but I like the movement of the shooter and the explosions. I'll regenerate the video with a simple prompt, adjust the creativity, and add a negative prompt. The adjustments worked. I'm really impressed by this video, even though the shooter should have aimed for the head. Remember this Sora video of woolly mammoths walking in the snow, I'll use the same prompt to generate a video in Kling. The Kling video turned out well. However, I think Sora's mammoths look more like mammoths due to their long tusks. While Sora's video has a more cinematic feel, especially with the snow kicking up, I believe the Kling video captures a more realistic depiction of how a mammoth would move through the snow. Now let's compare another Sora video featuring a woman walking down a street in Tokyo with the Kling video using the same prompt. People were really impressed by the video's realistic animations and fluid movement, praising the level of detail and the lifelike portrayal of the woman's walk. The Kling video is okay. I like how the woman and the people in the background are moving. However, the quality isn't as high as Sora's video, especially in the woman's face and hands, which look odd. Next, we have the ships battling in coffee video. Kling did a great job, but the movement of the coffee and the appearance of the ships are better in the Sora video. Interestingly, the coffee in the Kling video looks like it has a lot of cream, which I like. Overall, Kling did an impressive job recreating the Sora videos. However, it's worth noting that Sora videos are generally longer. While Kling has the potential to create videos up to two minutes long, this feature isn't available on its website yet. Additionally, since Sora isn't publicly available, I can't fully test its capabilities, making this comparison somewhat limited. Take a look at some more videos I've generated. Now let's try the text-to-image tool. I'll start simple and create a cute little girl eating spaghetti. There are options for selecting the image dimensions and the number of images to generate. For each image, you have the option to use it as a reference for creating new images or to bring it to life in a video. I'll choose to animate this one. The result is good, except the utensil morphs between a spoon and a fork. Still, 
It's a significant improvement over that earlier video of Will Smith eating spaghetti. Let's generate more images, this time of a woman jogging. Both images look good, but I'll use the second one as a reference to create more images featuring this woman. When using an image reference, you can adjust how much the reference influences the new image. I'll keep it at the default value. You can see the reference image strongly influences the generated images, not just in the woman's appearance, but also in the background. There's even a part of a couch visible in both images, and in the first one, she's holding a book. I think I need to reduce the reference image's influence to get a more logical setting, avoiding scenes like a couch in the middle of the road. In these new images, the setting makes more sense but her face is less consistent with the original image. So, I'll adjust the strength until I get the desired result. Now, these are what I was looking for, and Kling was able to create a consistent-looking character across different scenes. The possibilities are exciting. Overall, I think Kling AI is a strong competitor to Sora and might be one of the best AI video generators available right now. The video quality is high, and... In my experience, it only took around five minutes to generate a video. It's not perfect as demonstrated in the videos I showed, but it's still in its early stages and will likely improve over time. Additionally, the version available on the website doesn't have as many features as the one exclusively available in China, but it is expected to receive upgrades soon. I'm looking forward to seeing options for creating longer videos and the upcoming subscription plans, which I hope will be reasonably priced. I'll continue exploring this tool's capabilities, so stay tuned for more videos to come. So, have you tried Kling yet? How do you think it compares to other AI video generators like Sora, Runway, and Luma's Dream Machine? Please share your comments below and let me know what you think. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you for watching.